starting on deck eight, uh, all the way aft. Well, not all the way, because we can go into the restaurants, but we'll start here with an overlook of the Manhattan room below. And over there, you see someone walking. That is the waterfront. All right, so turning around and looking forward, we have the A-list bar, which is uh, only open, I believe, at five, five through the evening. Uh, this is the bar for the two restaurants back here. And uh, here on the right side, we have Los Lobos, uh, which is Mexican. And over to the left is Cagney's, their steakhouse. Heading out of Los Lobos and Cagney's. Well, since there is a restaurant, yes, we'll find restrooms to either side, as well as entrances to the waterfront. Uh, both of these venues, I believe, have dining outside. We'll take a walk around the waterfront, not today, maybe uh, tomorrow or someday when there's a lot of sun. Next, entering the shopping zone. Uh, well, here on Norwegian Encore, all the shops are sort of clustered right here. They're not spread around uh, like they were on Symphony of the Seas. Sandbar is just the, I guess, a little trinket shop. Here is the photo gallery. And then, of course, jewelry, watches, and whatnot. The duty-free liquor is also over in Sandbar. Along here is the... Uh, Norwegian and Encore branded merch. And oh, there's little Sharky again. Hey! Okay, well, okay. More, more NCL and Encore merchandise, as well as all the, uh, what is it, $10? Yeah, the, the $10 store. This is what I suppose would be up at the marketplace, but due to the weather, that's been closed, or it hasn't opened, I should say. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then uh, Bulgari and uh, the end of the time zone store, and here we are. We have the upper end of the crystalline entity in the middle, where we can see down all the way to deck six. Well, that's uh, social and Coco's over there. Here on the right side is Ocean Blue, the specialty restaurant. Don't know if I'll be hitting there, but I tried it on uh, Norwegian Escape, and it was good. Uh, they had some very delicious Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. And over here on the left is the Sugarcane Mojito Bar, which I think it was on every one of this class of shit. And the artwork, which uh, extends down. You can see it on the lower decks as well. Ooh, crew area. Coming through here. We find the Maltings Whiskey Bar, as well as all the way around the corner, way, way over here, <clears throat> the Humidor Scar Lounge. Outside, I don't know if it's here or maybe it's part of the Cavern Club, there is a larger uh, regular smoking area that's enclosed. We'll, uh, we'll see that when we go out onto the waterfront. Okay, well, there's Maltings. And just past Maltings is the Cavern Club. Haven't been in there yet, so... Uh, don't know which... Oh, they're doing something in there, I can hear it. Don't know what day. I'm gonna go check that out. But this is where the uh, Beatles perform, uh, almost nightly. On the left is... The Cellars, a Michael Mondavi family wine bar. 
they frequently have like wine tastings and similar events over here. And just past Cellars is Onda by Scarpetta. This is uh, the Italian restaurant that replaced uh, Cucina, I think that's what it was. And finally arriving at the aft elevator lobby on deck eight, where, let's take a look at the map. I'm sorry, I don't know if I uh, did this ahead of time. So uh, here we are, deck eight, and there is the layout and everything else uh, on the other decks, basically the directory. So, okay. And now we come up on the stairs where we have to make a, a choice. To the right on starboard side is Food Republic. To the left is the District Brew House. Let's go right first into Food Republic. Both of these venues are, are new with the uh, Breakaway Plus class. This, If you look at the ships, this is the added sort of <laughs> section to the waterfront that does not appear on uh, Breakaway or Getaway. The food here is, uh, is pretty good. I ate here on Escape. I haven't been here yet. I might uh, just try something. Hello. And here we go. Nice open air. It's a lot nicer when the weather is better. Okay, bar seating. That is Food Republic. So <clears throat> now we're gonna take a walk over to the District Brew House, which is all the way on the other side of the ship. It's actually a really great venue. You'll see why in a second. Some interesting artworks here. District brew house. Now this place has the benefit of having, I suppose, one of the largest beer selections on a cruise ship. And uh, something they do that's kind of interesting is they do leaderboards for the cruise. And I think I saw all time up there. What they'll do is they'll uh, show the name of the guest and, or maybe their initials, and how many different selections they've tried. So. Yes, day one, uh, they've been playing, well, they've been playing something, some kind of soccer event, so there's always been a crowd in here uh, watching. I don't know what it is, so. <laughs> this is a great place to get a, a nice protected forward view of the ship on day one, actually I should say day two. Uh, there were a lot of people here just watching the ship. I think I have a little bit of that in uh, one of those vlogs. So please go check that out day two, maybe even day three. And uh, like over in Food Republic, this one is, well, not open air, but, uh, you know, windows to the sky, which is uh, very nice, especially on clearer days. Whoops. And we are leaving District Brewhouse. So that is Deck 8 here on Norwegian Encore. So it's time to head back, head all the way up for, I think, uh, maybe even Deck 16. All right, let's do it.